hello there YouTube and welcome to Sunday the 12th of May man the highest it's ever gotten up to is 55 degrees and that's right about now it's been this really light off and on sprinkly thing and depending on what weather thing you look at it's anywhere from a 10% to like a 60% chance of rain nobody can decide but looking at radar it's it's light but you could definitely get get wet so uh should i, <laughs> I wish that uh it uh, just the thing popped up i lost track of the date but uh somebody had a has a birthday today let's uh let's go see who that is oh birthday girl where are you birthday girl no it's not your birthday you ain't even got your first birthday yet yes yours is coming up real soon you're a little bit later it's roadie road king's birthday <laughs> this old guy hey a little dust oh just a little particle of something laying on there she turns two years old today the other day i got a one of those things from i don't know if it was apple photos or Amazon for one of the things that photos get uploaded to. Oh, I think it was uh, the OneDrive from Microsoft. It was saying, you know, one year, you know, photos from this day one year ago, and I clicked through, and um, I don't remember what day it was this week, but uh, it was uh, the photo that Joey at Northwest Harley Davidson sent to me of this sitting on the floor. We were talking about that two-tone green is the one I wanted. And and he uh, he goes, uh, have you seen that in person? And I go, no. I said, the pictures look great. He goes, trust me, you need to see this in person. So anyway, he goes, have you seen the white? I forget what they, something slate white. He goes, man, it's some, it just changes colors depending on the lighting and stuff. So uh, he sends me a picture of it. Well, it was this bike. So Kelly and I drove or rode up, I don't remember which, up to Northwest Harley-Davidson and looked at this, and they had a tri-glide that somebody had just purchased but uh, had an accident with it, and it was there at the shop. Wow. I'm glad I didn't commit to anything over the phone. That is not a color I like. Don't you know green... It's bad luck for motorcycles. And you guys remember on any Sunday from what was that released in 1969 or whatever. Now green motorcycles are everywhere, especially if it starts with a K. But anyway, no regrets. I think somebody I was even answering a comment or something on this thing. I don't remember if it was on this channel or the other one. About, yeah, absolutely no regrets. I think they're asking if I missed the the two street glide specials and I love the color and everything of the second one, the Milwaukee eight one. And, uh, I love the whole deal of it, getting it, you know, so early in the year. And, you know, I had the thing for, I don't know how many months before it actually became the 2016 or 2017 model. It was, I bought it in 2016, but, um, uh, yeah, two years ago I'd made, for a touring Harley, my wisest decision. And every time I ride it, just like yesterday, it just rolls through your head. It's like, man, I'm glad I bought this thing. It's just one of those bikes. My O2, you know, that then had all the fancy stuff, you know, like this does, tire pressure monitors and all that garbage, you know, <laughs> that bikes are starting to have now. But she's a little rough and raw, but I loved her and missed it and then i rode this that um 2019 for six days in texas and um i i the road king bug hit me and then oddly enough it was memorial day in 2020 is that right 2020 yeah memorial day 2020 um when i i was the last basically the last ride I did on that uh, 2017 Street Glide Special, the Milwaukee 8. And, um, man, it was all the folks out there on that ride with, with Road Kings and 
that was it. I sat there and rumbled that thing in my, in my head a little bit and looked at some pictures and videos and whatever and called, decided I was one of that two-tone green, called Joey up and said, get me one, I want it. And uh, anyway, ended up with this one. Much glad. I still see those every once in a while. If you guys have those, dude, no, no, good on you. It's, you know, things like that are subjective for sure. But uh, happy birthday there, young lady. Two years old. Can you believe it's been that long? It'll be the third birthday for the for the Slim. And I think that's in August, somewhere around there. It'll be the ninth birthday for the Iron. Can you believe that's been nine years ago? That's crazy. Happy birthday, young lady. Love you bunches. So I was going to show you guys something right quick on the XDM Elite Compact 10 millimeter. Um, I was going to show you how those um, those rounds, the 40s versus the uh, um, 10 millimeters, how they fit in there. But let me uh, let me knock her down right quick. Oh, let me show you something else right quick too. I, I'm one handed here, so I gotta pause here for a second. All right. Any guys? familiar with these know that that's a uh, a round indicator nothing's in there but this is that 15 round magazine that when it's on there i wish it didn't say xp on the other side it doesn't but i wish it, they just left it blank because the um xp xdm you know, having it on both places, it, it makes it obvious you have that on there. Of course, you can see the, you know, the gap in it. But I was going to show you guys. Look at this. All four fingers. And my fingers are still at the bottom. So, you definitely have a grip on that bad boy. That unwieldy little son of a gun. With that, with that magazine on there. So, I ordered some more magazines. This was so quick to show up. I love Springfield. But, um, yeah, that showed up really quick. I got two of those. And then um, there was a deal to order the um, plates for an optic. If you ever put an optic on this, you know, it's optic ready. OSP Springfield refers to it. Optical sight pistol. Um, anyway, why it doesn't come with it like the Moss Glocks do. But, anyway, they send it to you for free. When I was there, they go, well, you haven't registered this yet. And uh, so I register it and I get this crazy, I forget what the percentage of discount is. So I ordered some more Hellcat and Hellcat Pro magazines and uh, some other stuff. I forget what else I got. I got a couple of cool t-shirts and a Springfield Armory hat. But uh, let me knock the barrel out of this thing. This is just like um, doing the uh, um, the Hellcat, except for you don't have to pull the trigger. Do you have to pull the trigger on the Hellcat? I think you do. But just like the Hellcat Pro, you uh, lift the the release button. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah. And without pulling the trigger, the slide comes right off. Typical Springfield beautifully made yeah, i love that stuff i'm really excited about that glock coming up too anyway i was going to show you guys here's that same 10 millimeter and 40 smith and wesson i showed you guys the other day so you drop the 10 in and it's literally perfectly flush with that with the hood or whatever you call that top thing i there's a technical name for it. but anyway you see the tin it stops it's stopping on the shell i know somebody mentioned something uh you know about a rim fire i i know this is not a lot of mark um you know like nine millimeters are tapered and whatnot so anyway that's where it rests and you put the 40 in there and look at that so what happens, like I explained to you in the last video, it's held in there 
perfectly fine. It's not going to the stopper. And the reality is that's not putting any pressure on the 10 millimeter when it's in there. It just stops there. And I think it's all timed in a very nice way. But here's the thing you're risking. Oh, which these things have a, a really nice extractor. Look at that thing. All spring loaded. So essentially what it does. Okay, yeah. She's, oh, I didn't realize that. It goes out of battery when you when you pull it off. So anyway, it's going to sit in there and be held with the extractor against the against the the barrel. It's going to float there, but that's not ideal. So I have fired. You know, I had some old forty stuff from way back when, which is crazy how long ago that's been. Um, did I say forty five? I meant forty Smith and Wesson. It was old stuff. So I ran that through it, and then I put five of these in. And blasted those through. I was just, I was just curious, and I just, you know, letting the thing chamber in nice and slow. I just wanted to see how it worked. As it feeds up, it falls just like they do because that extractor is not meant to be bouncing all around. You know, like dropping the slide down with a round in there, so you don't have to, you know, pull. What, you put the slide in, put a round in the gun, and then. Put a bullet back in there to fill it. Don't, yeah, don't drop the slide. We talked about that once before. Don't drop the slide on that because that forces that extractor to bounce over that. That's meant to just hold. And it's got some spring pressure. It, you know, you can see it move. But it's not meant to bounce over that. You'll bust that thing in no time short. So when you slowly extract around and slowly drop the slide and let it do its thing... You can see as it's being pulled off and it's, you know, it's kind of, it's going in, you know, kind of going into the barrel at the same time. It just slides along that extractor and finds its little, little place in home. It's not, because somebody even said, well, it's bouncing over it every time a round goes into the chamber out of the magazine. No, it does not. But what I did notice is that as it's coming in, it doesn't doesn't feed right it's kind of bouncing on this little initial feed here it's just not real smooth so i'm no longer going to shoot 40s through this that's how i ended up <laughs> buying another glock like a knucklehead i told kelly goes so did you order that thing i go yeah she goes you owe me some you got some uh stuff i got all kinds of crafts and furniture and stuff i go yeah Whatever you want there, mama. She goes, I don't care about that stuff. She goes, but if I do want something, I don't want any fight over it. I said, none whatsoever. So anyway, two boxes of uh, 40 Smith & Wesson cost me a lot of money for another Glock, which I haven't had in a while. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd just show you guys how that sets in there. And essentially, for the most part, when you have a 40 in there, the extractor is holding everything into place. And in kind of a roundabout way, it's kind of that way with the um, with the 10 millimeter. There is the ever so slight play. You know, it's meant to do what it's doing. It's not meant to have a short shell, short shell 10 millimeter in there. Well, I got a thing of oil. It's just everywhere I touch is getting dirt on it. <sighs> Anyway, one little added little thing I wanted to show you today. You know, I just left that thing sitting there. I thought it was leaning on that slide. She's just floating. My Olite that I got for the Hellcat, the original Hellcat, not the Pro. She, uh, needless to say, fits right on the um, XDM as well. So when I was talking about the getting the, the Gen 5 uh, G22, the Glock, 40 Smith and Wesson. Um, somebody asking because they said, You mentioned you had Glocks before. What what Glocks did you have? Well, when they first came out, I think around 87 somewhere in there, I went to a gun show with a cool friend of mine, seen the first G17, ended up buying one. And then uh, after that, I got a G17L, which is the long slide version of the G17. And um, it was one of the early ones. It had the uh, 
compensator grooves in the slide and had three holes drilled in the top of the barrel that coincided with the compensator grooves in the slide. Literally, to this day, the best best handling pistol I've ever had. Hands Well, Breda 92, I really love that, but I still, the 17L was much flatter shooting with the compensator. So um, ended up getting rid of that and uh, ended up with another G17, my uh, second standard G17, which all three of those are nine millimeter. And then um, I traded that in when the 40 Smith & Wesson, the G22, I don't think it even listed gin, or gin back then. It was just the G22, the 40 Smith & Wesson. Full frame thing. That's what the police and everybody used. And um, I traded that, because <laughs> I'm a big 45 ACP fan, traded that for a G21, which is a standard frame 45 ACP. And um, that was about the time Ryan was, Kelly's pregnant with Ryan, you know, needed money, sold the sold the Glock back to that gun broker dude that I dealt with. And so anyway, a few years went by. Ryan's like a couple years old or whatever. I uh, ended up buying um, a G30, which was the uh, short slide. I think it was a shorter slide. It was smaller. And it was just snappy. Them early ones, you know, the they're, they're so much better now. But anyway, didn't like that thing at all. And... um it was kind of an expenditure that probably didn't need to do at the time, so ended up selling that back. That gentleman that I got those things from, he ended up, before we even moved from Portland to Texas, he had he had passed on. And in between there, lots of guns. Lots of guns. Smith & Wessons, love the Berettas. Um, yeah, all kinds of different things. So those were the Glocks in particular. And... Um, this is my first time getting back to in, into a, a Glock in almost 30 years. I was thinking it was around 20. It's been more than that. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be uh, coming up here pretty soon. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh, man. What a doomy and gloomy day this was. It was. Amazing. How do you go from that beautiful 70, mid-70s almost day yesterday to cold and kind of... Not drizzling at the time, but no, just you know, overcast one of those days. and then dark clouds. And That's all right. The road king goes, well, thanks for taking me for a birthday ride one day prior. Yes, it was a pre-birthday. So she got a birthday ride in. It was Very just good. yesterday. <laughs> anyway, out here in the wind, you probably can't hear what we're saying anyway. The mic's probably bustling about, making all that terrible sound. Probably. So I think we're just going to bounce out on you quick make it a quick and easy goodbye there we go well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give her thumbs up and you guys have an amazing monday or tuesday heck yeah back to the old grind tomorrow yeah all righty <laughs> see you in the morning we'll see you then thanks bye. for watching now bye-bye